the more you open up the universities for students and the more you support um, what you actually learn in the university uh, and bring that clearly forward, the more I think we will be clear on that sort of loop for uh, improvement, if you want to say that, that we would like to do. Another challenge is, of course, that we're going through a paradigm in higher education where focus has been really or is very focused on research. But uh, the recognition of, of teachers that is poor, we do not do that. We have to work much harder on that. But we also need to support uh, teachers uh, in transforming the, their actual professional role into also doing science, doing research on what they are doing when they do re in teaching. We have a recognized center for learning and teaching that is shared by all the faculties and where we do systematically try to improve or promote, I would say, teachers to be involved in projects more like a long-term base. Um, uh, we have gone from having um, mandatory courses to having more education on request. So the so the uh, pedagogical uh, developers, or how you should they say, the people that really would like to bring forward in, within the university, will take um, special um, urgent questions based upon the faculty's specific needs. We are also working with students as partners. We're trying to introduce how can that be um, an engine for changing how teachers uh, address difficulties in the teaching process. So we have um, students involved in reflecting on the curriculum, reflecting on the learning outcome goals, and helping those that are responsible for the programs to redesign the program. We are now st starting under the umbrella of challenge-based learning. We're trying to ask our teachers of how do you actually engage students in a way that they become interested in their own learning processes. And also because we know from research that's a way that where you establish and ground your knowledge. So that's very exciting, I think. That's a new way of approaching teaching in higher education, basically. We are very much um, dedicated to widening participation and engagement, uh, which means that it's more of a, a motto for the university. You can go to our administrative uh, personnel and they will also um, um, approach students in a different way than what you would find maybe other places. Students say that immediately that we, we feel included here, we welcome. The worst mistake we do when we talk about widening participation is that we automatically say that these students need more help, they need more support. And that's why we were so happy when we could um, adopt the track, track It project from EUA to actually follow our students uh, and understanding where do they find um, problems, where do they need support. And if a couple of students need support, then all students would need it. So that's a mechanism by which we listen to a couple of students and then we see, well, that's, that will be good for everyone. And then we transform it into our routines. And I think it's a good philosophy. What works for one student will work for everyone. I also think in that concept it has to do with being tolerant and acceptant of um, people coming in with different backgrounds. We are very pushed forward the way we want it and I think we can learn quite a bit of listening to the diversity and try to adapt to that instead of shaping everyone in, a, in one shape, so to say. Since I've seen the power of EUA's work with um, the quality framework, uh, with the Track It program, with modernization of higher education, uh, I really see it's powerful to sit in a country in Europe and say this is what we have united us around in Europe. So I definitely would like to see a clear strategy and vision around learning and teaching. If you ask university teachers what they do most is the teaching, but they teach based on research. It's actually research integrated education. If we're going to push forward from teacher-centered to student-centered, I think we should take student active involvement and we have to be a little bit brave of letting students into our processes. I think actually also uh, to interconnect uh, the principles with quality work and internationalization because they are very much linked together. So winding participation, internationalization, quality and learning and teaching are like 
a glove, basically. So that is the challenge we all have, and we all have to contribute to this. That's why I think it's very good to have a forum for this.